Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> it is Ananya. It has been a while. Hello, if you don't know me, my name's Ananya again. And a lot has happened recently, if I must be honest with you. And so I figured that I must make this video to keep you guys updated on all the things that have been happening recently. Because there's been a lot. <laughs> so I let me just start from the beginning and then I'll walk you through everything. Um, to give you like some teasers, I finished my Neuralink internship, uh, took classes at Stanford, I'm starting a new neurotech startup project now, and then I did some other fun tangential things that are cool, <laughs> and that I think are cool, maybe they're not cool objectively, and so I'll share them. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, first, my Neuralink internship. It is currently October 18th. I finished my Neuralink internship in the beginning of September. I worked at Neuralink for three months, and I must say, this experience changed my life. It is such an inspiring place. And I know I say the inspiring word all the time, so it's like, ah, oh, does she know any other words? But I think I'm honestly being very precise with my vocabulary when I say this. First, it was really crazy getting to see people operate at the upper limits of human cognitive capacity and ability. I was exposed to people's, like, logic and drive and ability to teach themselves and I've never seen anything like that before in terms of like the sheer intellectual capacity of people <laughs> like and and also like the things that they were able to build and also the hard work like people would stay at the office at insane hours if you were at the office at 2 a.m there was probably someone else at the office at 2 a.m which is totally unlike all the other internships I've done and just seeing so many different diverse people align towards achieving one common goal, like, and and so many humans devoting so much of their life and their energy towards one idea was really, really crazy. And I'm sure it's shaped my perspective for what creates a great organization for many years in my future. And I've definitely found that just being exposed to the ideas and the thought processes of people has helped my thinking as well. Further, as a result, I also talked about neurotech for all hours of the day for three months, and so I have developed a bunch of new ideas about the opportunities and challenges and gotten a much more clear understanding of where the field and the space lies. Next. Oh, yeah, what did I work on when I was there? Great question. Um, so I was building an internal tool. There's a bunch of different teams in Neuralink. It's super interdisciplinary. Animal care team, surgery team, hardware, firmware, um, PCB, electronics, mechanical engineering, like every single aspect of STEM that you can think of probably has a team at Neuralink, like anesthesia, like it, it's crazy the amount of roles that need to be filled. And as a result, there's a lot of information from a lot of different teams scattered across the company. And so I was building a tool that allowed people to upload data in one centralized location. And this is very important because it allows for... I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say and not allowed to say, but it, it just allows for different teams to communicate and understand what their data means. And as we scale in the future, it'll be really important to keep track of all this information. And so it was really valuable getting to speak to each team and understand the rough basis of how it works. Neuralink was also pretty cool because it's a very transparent company. So if you want to understand how another team works, people would be more than happy to sit down with anyone and just give them the 101 about the gist of it, which is also unlike any other culture I've experienced. And so... Yeah, to wrap it up, I, I grew an insane amount. My team, um, Gautam and Andrew, were super inspiring and held me to a high standard with my code, which was an insane learning curve. But because of the high standard, I feel like I've developed a lot in terms of my programming ability and just like what it takes. And I, I'm insanely, insanely grateful for the experience. Okay, so that happened. Um, <laughs> I feel like I did such a terrible job of articulating it. It was seriously an insane internship. Like, the people were so inspiring. The technology and the hard work was so crazy. The standards to which I was held, I've never been held to before. And my worldview has expanded in terms of what neurotech can be. Now, moving on. What am I doing now? Well, currently, for the past month, I've been on Stanford campus. I am working on my own neurotech startup project now, and I've received $100,000 in grants and brought on two EE master students at Stanford who have been 
who are like seriously the most amazing people, kind, happy, very intelligent, and great to work with onto the project. And so we're slowly working on it um, and excited to see where it goes. <laughs> and I'm taking classes. I am taking a CS class on computer systems. I'm taking a class that teaches you CAD and SOLIDWORKS and laser cutting and general fabrication, lathing, milling, drill press, wood shop. The following class is like CNC milling, um, injection molding, welding. So it's like a whole set of classes, but I hope to learn big fabrication techniques. Then I'm taking a second class on microfabrication techniques. So if you wanted to make, so before I was explaining like how you might be able to use like a laser cutter to make this deck of cards case and you might be able to use like injection molding to make this like headphones but if you wanted to make chips on your phone like how do you make chips on your phone where you fit a billion transistors onto a millimeter chip like that's insane and so the process of that is called microfabrication and we use tools like lithography and etching and ion implantation and these tools are actually like very much used in a lot of neural devices and I was first exposed to it at Neuralink and now I'm like I want to learn more about that so I'm taking a class about microfabrication to make small things. Then I'm taking ultrasound for neurostimulation because there's so many techniques and applications to use ultrasound to stimulate brain activity, which has been really fascinating for different therapies and also the future of interfacing with the brain. Techniques in neuroscience and neurogenetics. And neurogenetics is about using genetic techniques to be able to interface and target certain neurons in the brain, make them fire, and just understanding the tools that we have available to us, which will be important for my project also. And, oh yeah, other fun things that happened this summer. So I lived in SF, for the, and it was the first time I lived alone, like, without my parents, not on a college campus. And I lived with two of my friends from Stanford, Vincent and Jason, who are, like, absolute kings. And we all got our motorcycle licenses together. We met a bunch of really awesome people in SF. And it's crazy the, the caliber of people who live in San Francisco. I made some new friends, like Ryan and Ben, and they're the kind of people where they push you to a high standard. They're like, you are here, but you could be up here. So they ask you questions that align yourself with the person of you you could become. And that kind of growth that's given um, from interactions with a friend is so, like, it gives me chills. And I'm really grateful to have gone to those meetups and events and met amazing people in the city because the city is great. I also started taking Brazilian jiu-jitsu classes, and I'm continuing that here. And what else? I flew back home to my family and hung out with them often also. And am I missing anything? Campus has been fun, you know, meeting a lot of people here, learning a lot. It's been kind of crazy seeing that when you have an idea, for example, I'm, I'm trying to build this neurotech thing, how open people are to helping you with resources and funding and advice. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. I literally email anybody on the internet and they've been so insanely helpful to hop on a call and meet up and it's crazy and so that experience has been really humbling and really cool because people in the world get together to build things and that's really great what prompted this video because I was just I was just thinking about the activities that I was participating in and how I was spending my time. I'm also procrastinating on my homework, so that helps. But I made a list of, like, what kind of person do I want to be when I graduate? If I graduate. But, yeah, when I graduate. And I wrote some things down, and I figured that I should probably act more in line with those things. Which I am. I totally am. But I want to be way more cognizant of it. Um, but, yeah, overall, I'm really happy. I've been learning a lot. And there's been a lot of ups and downs. The summer was rough at times. Like, I was so stressed. I've never been more stressed in my whole life. Like, as I was explaining, Neuralink is a very, like, intense environment with lots of people working till, like, 2 a.m. I've never been so stressed, but I've also never worked so hard and produced things I'm so proud of. And, like, the stress was all self-inflicted. It was not from anyone. It was just, like, from me being, like, I need to learn this. And I learned it. And what else? Yeah. That's about it. Oh, I've also been making a bunch of little projects here at the Product Realization Lab with the 3D printers and the laser cutters 
And so I'll probably upload another video with some of my fun side projects that I've been making because it's like, it gives me joy to make them. And yeah, okay, see you later. Bye bye. What else? It actually, maybe, maybe not a bye bye. Um, Yeah, peace.